Hello everybody, I am Vault Matrix, and today we are taking a look at a hot mess. Okay, that's not fair. That's a little bit clickbaity, I know. But I'm I'm not keen on this figure. And I'll explain why in a little bit. But here we have Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class RC. Now this is modeled after or supposed to be the Transformers Prime RC, but it doesn't really pull it off. Okay, the bike mode is actually pretty good. The bike mode looks okay, except for the giant fists hanging off the back. I can work with that. The overall look of the figure in bike mode works well and is generally okay. In this mode, we've got a couple of ports for weapons. We got two here on the back of the of the bike, and then one on either side of the rear axle, and then you could use the figure's robot fists as mounting points as well. But before we do, the figure comes with these two accessories which combine into an Energon pizza. Okay, it's not an Energon pizza. It's supposed to be like an Energon shuriken of some sort, but it looks more like a, a top or a thing to spin. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Either way, you know what I'm going for. It's okay. It's fine. It pegs into the sides or top of the bike mode. But I've been finding that the peg holes that this thing is supposed to peg into are actually really tight. So here's the figure with some more weapons. And in the course of doing that, I kind of made the bike mode fall apart. Yeah, that, that happens. Bike mode does not hold together all that well, and the bike mode is primarily held together by these flaps that are connected to the front of the, of the bike. And these flaps don't like pegging in, so they're supposed to peg in to slots of where the shoulders are, and then they're supposed to peg into these slot slots on the what are the legs. Getting everything lined up is a royal pain in the keister. And I'm just going to say it, the figure doesn't feel great. It doesn't. It just does not feel all that great or all that sturdy. Now, let's get it into robot mode. Transformation into robot mode starts with flipping out these panels. And originally, I thought they were clear plastic. It's not. Thank God it's not, because these things would shatter if they were. And then we can, if you want, just pull the front of the bike mode off because that's designed to come off and you can pull off the front wheel if you like because that's going to become a weapon later on but I I'm not going to do that I'll just put this all back on I have no idea why this piece comes off it doesn't show why in the directions other than hey it comes off which makes me wonder if it's going to get remolded into something later down the line okay so take the rear of the vehicle where the tire is kind of pull that away while lifting the front up, then split the tire apart like that. And I do have to call out the tire has a neat con connection. It's got two peg holes and one peg on one, and then two pegs and one peg hole. That makes it a much stronger connection, which is nice. Split the front of the gas can or gas can apart like that, and then unpeg the feet and fold them down and fold the legs in while simultaneously flipping the wheels down. So we'll do that on the other side. Flip the wheel down, unpeg the leg or on the foot, and then flip that up so the lower leg pegs in. And then flip those legs up like so. Then grab the rear of the bike mode and pull it up. Split that apart to form the arms and they will snap into place. We can fold those down. Take the entire front of the vehicle mode and turn it around 180 degrees. Collapse that section to the back to form the backpack. First, we're going to open up the legs a little bit more and flip this blue section all the way around, close the legs, and turn the entire section around 180 degrees. And this is how the figure came out of the box for me. A floppy mess. There is a point where you fold the entire upper torso in and then snap it into place, and that tightens everything up. A big thank you to my Twitter followers, because quite frankly, I completely missed that. Then we could flip the fists, or fists, the feet out. And stand the figure up. And that's pretty much it. 
I will admit, the robot mode doesn't look bad. The wheels, or the giant wheels hanging off the legs, I, I can deal with it. The overall proportions are okay, and the coloring works. Though the face sculpt. I'm sorry, that head sculpt does not work. That is not Transformers Prime RC. I don't know what they did or who they were going for, but that is not the character. It's like she got filtered through, or her design got filtered through another Transformers series into this toy line. It's very strange. Though I do have to admit, the figure does have excellent light piping. In terms of scale with other figures in her size class and other figures in the last few years, she is a smidge smaller than current deluxes. Now remember I said we have something else we could do with the front of the bike. Well, that front wheel comes off and is packaged separately in the packaging. Then you grab that wheel and you split it in half and this somehow becomes a weapon. Hell if I know what kind of weapon it's supposed to be. I I don't remember her using a uh, a weapon like this in the show. It's just odd. It, it doesn't even pig into her hands all that well. Yeah, what kind of weapon is this? Okay. All right. So, what you can, the other thing you can do is there's a peg hole behind her head. Unpe undo, oop, pull the motorcycle front off a away a little bit, peg that in, and then put the front of the motorcycle back on. And that actually works better. I think that looks better. I, I legitimately think that looks better and is, to me, more of what the character is supposed to look like. Now, then, if that goes there, where do these go? Well, these can be her arm blades, as she did use arm blades in the show, but that kind of looks dumb. And then the other thing you can do is combine them, and they become like this weird shield on her arm. I don't know if she ever used that in the show. I, I legit do not remember. It's not that you can't pull off cool poses with this figure, but I feel the lack of any other kind of projectile weaponry like, you know, every other freaking character in the in the line has really is a detriment to her because, I mean, come on, girls want to shoot too. Still, this is the best pose I've been able to pull off. I think it works best for the character, and this is probably how I'm going to display the figure. All right, let's go ahead and get RC transformed into bike mode. To start off with, I'm just going to remove the front of the motorcycle and unpeg the wheels and then just slap them together like so and just put them off to the side for now and then we'll take a look at the figure as a whole. So start off with straighten out the head and push it all the way down come to the backpack and turn the handlebars around and that whole section will go over her head like that. Then take the shoulders and fold them out all the way to the side and grab the forearms and pull them forward. I did not have that at the beginning of the review, my bad. Take the entire rear bottom of the figure, turn it around 180 degrees and then come down to the feet, collapse the toes, which have five millimeter peg slots on them. Fold the shins down until the back of the lower leg pegs into the bottom or the back of the heel like that. Unpeg the torso, split the legs apart, fold the blue crotch plate around to the what is now the or what was the butt of the figure. Fold that whole section up and it will rest on top of what is the gas tank, which is behind her head now. Then take the shoulders and collapse them down and fold them all the way down, like so. Turn the forearms so that they peg into one another, like that. Then turn the legs so that they point to the front of the mode, and then it literally flip them over her own shoulders, like so. I can't be comfortable. Grab the tires. 
in the muffler and fold them down. And then these two tire halves will peg in. And this is what I was talking about. Two pegs, one hole, two holes, one peg. And just get that lined up and pegged into place. Okay. And now we have a, well, chunk of motorcycle. <laughs> Take the front of the vehicle mode and peg it back into place. Fold the flaps in, and there are two sets of pegs. This top set will peg into this section that is where the shoulders are, and then the bottom slot or bottom peg will peg into this slot. And this is by far the most annoying part of the transformation because I could always get that top peg pegged in correctly, but I can never quite get the bottom one pegged incorrectly until I start cursing up a storm and get demonetized on YouTube. Now, I have found the best way to do it is to actually hold the rear of the vehicle, close both flaps and peg them into the shoulder part, and then wedge, kind of on an angle, wedge in these leg bits until they clip into place. And one of them will, I have, it just doesn't always go. It's not perfect, but it, it gets the job done. And then we can put the fender and the wheel back on. And here we have the bike mode. The bike mode scales to other current deluxes with no problem. It actually feels a lot bigger than it should because, I mean, come on, man. Look at that. That's insane. Now, the reason I called this figure a hot mess at the beginning of this review is because my initial impressions of the figure were terrible out of the box. Like, the whole figure was kind of floppy, loosey-goosey. The directions are actually pretty good, but it didn't make sense initially. And getting it into bike mode the first time was a pain in the butt. And as I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you will see that it wasn't great. First impressions, not great. But the figure has grown on me a little bit. Is it a great figure? No, no. I'm not smitten with it, but of the two that I've gotten so far between Skids and RC, I think Skids is a much more successful figure. RC's not bad per se, but there is quite a bit going against her because if you lose the front wheel or the front of the motorcycle, you effectively lose an entire mode. Or say you have a cat that knocks things around and likes to lose bits. Then you're going to be, you won't have a figure. You won't have a transformer anymore. You'll have a figure that kind of turns into part of a motorcycle. And where's the fun in that? Overall, RC is a nice nod to Transformers Prime, but I don't think they nailed the brief. It just doesn't feel like the character that we all know and love. All right, folks, what do you think of RC? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and please be sure to hit that bell so you know when a new video is out. As always, I am Ball Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.